What's up, everyone? Um, here's round two of this video. This app is a, I love this app, but it's been kind of buggy lately. I'm going to break down the shoulder press. I'm going to show you three different variations. Um, basically, three different tools to work on your press, one of which is just a standard press. Really what I want you to be watching for here is how they're all different, but they're really all the same. So I'm going to show you what they look like, and then we will uh, break them down. Uh, my disclaimer is on the bottoms up press. I had to film this a few times, and uh, I chose to use a 20. And uh, not terribly challenging for me, but after like three or four in a row, <laughs> it's a little bit more wobbly than it should have been. So you had your three press variations there. You had a standard press to start off with, a bottoms up, or basically an upside down press, and the last one was called a palm press. So let's go ahead and just take a look, okay? Here's my standard press. Here's what I want you you looking out for, okay? My elbow is directly underneath my bell, okay? From here, watch it the entire time, okay? It's still underneath it, okay? So don't worry about my elbow to my to my body, okay? Just look at my elbow to wrist, okay? Just that the entire. Let's get a better line than that. That right there. I'm gonna watch that the entire time, okay? That should be 90 degrees off the ground, we'll say perpendicular, the entire time. I want you to think of my elbow, think of my forearm like a little rocket ship, okay? <laughs> think of like there's the thrusters, there's all the fire, all the fires, you know, shooting out. And here's my, here's my rocket ship, okay? If my forearm, for whatever reason, if my elbow were to kind of kick out and now my arm is angled in this direction, that's the direction it's going to want to go. Obviously... That means the bell is rotated in my arm. It's, it's kind of like an MMA submission move. It's going to torque my arm, and I'm going to drop my bell, okay? Um, if you've ever failed on a press, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. My elbow stays directly underneath. I lock. I return, and I return under tension. I'm not dropping it. I'm basically pulling it back into that rack position, and then I'm going to switch. So I'm going to move over here to the bottoms up, and here's my starting position. So... Again, my elbow is underneath my wrist. Here's the, the reason why I like to teach the bottoms up, and this is a great tool if you're struggling with your press, is maybe stop pressing for a while and work on bottoms up. You might have to start really light. That's okay. But I've had people that could press a lot of weight. They had to really, they essentially had to humble up, lower their weight to do some bottoms up. They spent a month only bottoms up pressing, and they went back and they increased their max by, you know, four to eight kilo. It was a pretty cool thing to watch. From here as I press, again, elbow is underneath the bell. This removes the possibility of error, okay? Look at that face of determination. This is what happens when you <laughs> have three failed filming sessions is you have to do it over and over and over. But from here, I'm going to press up, press up. A little bit of, whoop, almost lost it because I got a little bit wobbly, but got it. There's a sigh of relief on my face. But again, watch my elbow. Elbow has to stay underneath the weight. And if it doesn't, my bell is going to fall, okay? The last version, let's say you've been practicing the palm press. The grip is getting a little bit wobbly. This next one is the palm press, and it's the same thing. It's the same principle. Um, it's the same principle as the uh, palm, as, excuse me, as the bottoms up press. The only difference is now the bell is resting in my palm. Okay, my elbow starts off underneath. Um, this is great because it'll allow you to work maybe a little bit heavier because now you're, you don't have to work. You know, let's say your grip can only hold eight kilos, but you feel like that's too easy. You can, you can use a little bit more weight for the palm press, and you still get that element of balance, okay? The weight I'm pressing right now is not very heavy. Controlling and balancing it is, okay? This is more about keeping those stabilizing muscles, those, those uh, essentially those synergistic muscles active during my press. All three of those movements, if, I've, if I made the bell invisible, look, they look identical, okay? I set my bell down. Do a nice walk towards the camera for style, and then the video is done. So there's a lot more to this video that I'm going to get into. You know, how do you regiment this in? I would just say this. If you're really kind of stuck with your press, um, it might come down to it, it may not be a strength issue. 
Um, for most people I know, working on things like bottoms up presses, doing heavy cleans, just holding, getting that bell set in that set start position is the key to your press. Your shoulders are usually strong enough. You'll know when you get to a really heavy bell when your form is perfect and the bell just won't go. You'll you'll know. So these are great drills. Give them a try and let me know how they go.